Hey all, long time no speak. Let's see, what do I got here? Well, I just picked up this uh, Black Jackson uh, just last week off Craigslist. I got it for 80 bucks, which is less than half of what they cost new. And it's virtually brand new. There might be just a little wear on it. Uh, came from uh, what I suspect to be a beginner player. Um, and he was moving and downsizing and, uh, well, I was happy to take it off his hands for that price. So what are these? These are short scale basses, pretty much entry level bass guitars, short scale 28.6. And the back one is an Ibanez. And this front one, like I said, is a Jackson. So let's take a look at them and maybe I'll give a couple pros and cons, some just off-the-cuff comparisons um, both are basically two manufacturers version of around the same price point same features uh, for a base uh, com these are competitive with one another and uh, let's kind of get into it well one of the first cons that I have right off the bat with Jackson's and now mind you I think these are some of the sexiest headstocks, and I love Jackson necks, but these brake angles can be a problem, and I've seen it occur, especially on the bases, a lot, where that little tiny bit can break off and render this useless until you replace the nut, and who wants to do that? Uh, real quick side note. When I said I suspect the guy was a beginner, this is why I suspect he was a beginner. Don't lie, we've all done that when we first strung a guitar. I'm not going to fault anyone on their first stringing, and honestly, it can be kind of a pain in the ass sometimes. Um, but at any rate, let's keep this video fairly short. Meanwhile, the Ibanez, they've got it right. Although, <clears throat> these little door things, they're neat in theory, but I've actually had ones before where they sent me a wrench that still didn't fit in there that right. So, easy fix. Get a wrench that fits in there right if they send you the wrong one. That's a little bit of a quality control thing, but mind you, these are beginner things. Um, and we all know beginner things are meant to frustrate. So let's see. Let's go down here where the opposite of the that is true. And the Jackson actually has the pro while the Ibanez has the con. These Ibanez bridges, these saddles, are problematic. And this little nub that they've got here, that basically takes, you know, it's about a half inch long. Uh, sorry, I don't have any metric conversions for you. I only know one dumb language. Anyway, that takes about a half inch of your intonation ability and just throws it down the drain. The fact that these don't go all the way through, um, also, uh, like on the barrel type, which I'll show you next, makes it just impossible to really get that extra bit. And now this one particularly is in a drop tuning, and you can see I'm all the way back. I've had to take the spring, springs off all these, uh, except for that one, and they're just problematic. So that's something to keep in mind, especially if you're getting one of these and wanting to drop tune it, which by the way, if you're wanting to go low with a short scale bass, Consider that you'll be needing to get even bigger strings than what you normally would on a 34-inch standard scale bass. So keep that sort of thing in mind. While my comparison is the old tried and true barrel type. And, you know, there's way better bridges for sure. Um, which a hey, points to Jackson for trying to make this a high mass. Look at that difference. Yeah, high mass is good.
Low mass is bad. Um, anyway, so as you can see here, not only does the screw go all the way through, so you could slide this baby all the way back to oblivion if you wanted and not have that half inch post get in your way, not have to take your springs out. So yeah, pro for Jackson, con for Ibanez. Um, I do think I am going to make this one my drop tuner. Um, and yeah, because I just have that much more that I can get out of that. And I know, I know, well, if you use the right size strings, you don't really have to intonate back that far. It's like, yeah, I don't really want to play um, dang bridge cable. So, yeah, but that's just my preference. Um, what more can I say about this? Oh, well, yeah, so con for the Jackson. Awesome headstock shape, but can be problematic. Uh, pro for the Ibanez. Uh, they got it right with the brake angles. And uh, con for Ibanez with these silly saddles. They are just silly. Dang, focus. All right, and yeah, pro for the Jackson. And yeah, extra points for the uh, trying to go high mass. All right, so pickups on these. Well, let's just say they're matched for the guitar and the price point. But honestly, after putting these in on this, I just can't do these pickups. And I've actually ordered a set of DiMarzio PJ pickups. Um, and I think I'm going to be really happy with that. Hey, at any rate, if you don't want to play a flagpole, maybe you're a short guy like me, um... You don't have that long of a wingspan. Uh, maybe it's just a comfortability thing. Maybe you sit when you play like me. Um, I do 95% of my playing in a seated position. So these are nice, unless you're trying to go really low. And in this case, I'm only going with standard tuning and, and drop D. So yeah, this is gonna work out great. Um, but yeah, so I'm gonna replace those pickups. I'm gonna, these are brand new strings. I'm gonna fix that guy's tuning um, menagerie up here. I, I can fix that with these strings. I'll just rewrap them. Um, and yeah, I'll be good to go. So I guess I'm gonna make this about a 10 minute video or so. Uh, I guess I'll throw a little channel update in while we're at it. A few of you guys know, because I've mentioned it to you, but I haven't mentioned it officially. I have health problems. Lots of them. And uh, I'm not after sympathy or anything. But if sometimes it seems like I'm, you know, uh, preoccupied or not uploading, that's probably why. And lately I've made some big steps and big changes. And... I'm hoping to get some good results. Uh, anyway, yeah, tis the time, you know. Uh, life in this world isn't getting any easier. Probably time to start taking care of ourselves if we aren't already. So, anyway, there's always room for improvement, folks. Anyway, I just thought I'd tell you guys that in some official format, and there I did. Now I have about a minute to spare, and so maybe I'll talk about the next. The neck on this one is more of a, it's got a flatter. It's got a more, I guess, D profile. It feels really nice in the hand. Whereas this one is a little bit rounder, but very thin still. I guess it's a C profile. I don't know. But yeah, and it feels really good in the hand. At any rate, these, I like these. I like short scale and yeah. I think they would work out for anybody who's wanting to just sit and uh, have some fun with the bass. They're super fun to play. Uh, change those pickups out, which are probably worth, definitely worth more than the guitar. And you actually got something that's going to sound pretty good. Well, with that, we're coming upon 10 minutes. So I'm out of here. Till next time. Peace, you guys. Take care.